Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you some of the 80 commands used to set the SIM 900 or SIM 800 GSM module into sleep mode. I am using SIM 900 module for the demonstration and this meter will be showing us the current that is being consumed by the GSM module now. Remember that this tutorial and all the 80 commands applies to SIM 800 also because all the 80 commands and the sleep modes are the same. Suppose if your application requires you to uh, enter a low power consumption state then SIM 900 module supports two sleep modes which is sleep mode 1 and sleep mode 2. In sleep mode 1 uh, you can enter sleep mode 1 by just entering the command dt plus cslk is equal to 1 and uh, make sure that a DTR pin is at high level to enter sleep mode. Otherwise the GSM mode will not uh, will just respond with ok but it will not enter sleep mode and the power consumption will still be high. To wake up from sleep, so once it uh, enters sleep mode 1, uh, the only way to wake up it uh, is, uh, is using the DTR pin uh, by pulling it low and in within 50 milliseconds you need to uh, send an AT command to disable the sleep mode. Otherwise the GSM mode will quickly enter sleep mode back again. A voice call or an SMS can also wake up the GSM module from sleep mode 1 but still you cannot send an AT command to it uh, without this procedure of making the DTR pin low and sending an AT command in 50 milliseconds. And coming to sleep mode 2 you can enter sleep mode 2 by entering the command AT plus CSCL case code 2 and after this uh, the GSM module mo monitors the serial port for 5 seconds and even th within that 5 seconds if there is no data transfer on UART and uh, if there is no any call or SMS then it automatically enters sleep mode and the power consumption is lower to less than 1 milliamperes. And to wake up from sleep mode 2, it's very easy, just send any, just send an UART command. The first command is always lost uh, because it is used as a wake up call to uh, wake up the GSM module from sleep mode. And the second data command which you send uh, after the module is awake is responded. I always prefer to use sleep mode 2 because it is much easier than making the DTR pin low and uh, you know, uh, adhering to this constraint of sending the data within 50 milliseconds. So it's better to use sleep mode 2, it, uh, it serves the same purpose and it is uh, you know easier to wake up the module from sleep mode. So now let us test, test the sleep mode. Now I will restart the module just to show you the consumption of power whenever the module restarts. Now as you can see, This current scale is in amperes, so now it is showing 0 0.05 means it's uh, 50 milliamperes. So the normal current consumption of SIM 900 or SIM 800 module is around uh, 20 to 30 milliamperes. Right now it's showing around 20 milliamperes. Now let's test a basic AT command. Now we'll check what is the current sleep mode setting using the command AT plus CSCLK. Now it shows that uh, the CSCLK0 means the JC module is operating in normal condition and uh, now uh, I will uh, make the module enter sleep mode 2 AT plus CSCLK is equal to 2. Now uh, I, uh, the GSM module has entered uh, sleep mode it will observe for 5 seconds and automatically uh, reduce the power consumption. As you can see now the meter has uh, gone down to 0, 0.00 amperes it's actually uh, uh, less than 1 milliamperes but it uh, periodically uh, consumes some power May, uh, maybe because of this module is having a network LED and a power LED on it so it's giving that uh, but it's uh, the power consumption is lowered and it will stay below 1 milliamperes whenever it's in sleep mode. Now to wake up the GSM module I'll just enter, uh, enter an AD command. Now as you can see the you know GSM module has uh, woken up and after, after 5 seconds of inactivity it automatically enters into sleep mode again and the power consumption is lowered. Now the sleep mode has been removed and the power consumption has increased again around 20 milliamperes. Now we will enter sleep mode 1 AT plus CLCLK is equal to 1. Now the module has entered sleep mode again and you can see the UART port is responsive. Now it's very difficult to wake up the GSM module. Uh, uh, either it can wake up on the on a call. I'll give it a call. You see uh, the call has arrived and it's uh, 
current consumption has increased so you can also observe uh, the current consumption during the call it's around uh, 90, 90 to 80 milliampere somewhere around 100 milliampere range so i will cut the call now Uh, see still the uh, what port is responsive now if you want to wake up the model it's very difficult so uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, make the DTR pin low and uh, quickly send 80 commands to remove the sleep mode Now you see the sleep mode has been removed and the power consumption is normal so that's how you use sleep mode so it's i always recommend to use sleep mode 2 because it's much easier to exit from uh, compared to sleep mode 1 so that's all i guess thank you for watching